guys, I'm Tyler, and welcome to another episode of my Christian Music Weekend Reviews. Each week I take five releases in the Christian music world, albums or singles, and after having listened to them all week, I come back here and I review them. I share what I think of them, I share what the lyrics say, I share what they sound like. So, without further ado, let's get into this week's first release, Hillsong Worship's new album, Awake. Worship's new album, Awake, has a typical modern worship sound to it, but does sprinkle some softer pop and softer alternative elements into it. I would say that the first few songs drew me off a little bit upon initial listen, but grew on me over time. And the rest of the album, I think, makes it better as it goes on. So, this is a good album. I'll say, I'm just saying that it might take a little adjustment, is all I'm saying. As for the lyrics here, great lyrics here. They talk about how far God has went to save us and give us new life in Christ. Really, really just love the lyrics on this album. Really do. Up next, Matt Mars, Alive and Breathing, Volume 2 EP. Thing, volume 2 is the follow-up to his previous EP that came out last month, Live and Breathing Volume 1. If you want to see my review for the first volume, check out the September 13th reviews release video that also included Big Daddy Weeb. But anyhow, let's go on to this EP. So, has a nice sound to it. It kind of has some rock influences in the contemporary worship sound, I would say, with the way the gu guitars are played. Also, there's drums, there's piano, too, so really good sound here. As for the lyrics here, great lyrics here. Talk about how God has given us new life through Jesus and how we need to live in, with that new life inside of us in mind. Up next, Striper Weed singer Michael Sweet and is a pretty all out heavy effort. I mean, most of the songs are pretty heavy on this album. There, there's only like one ballad on this album, Let It Be Love, by the way, is the one lighter song on this album. But for the most part, this is pretty heavy. The guitar riffs range from fast to a little slower pace, but nevertheless, pretty hard hitting. And the drumming can sometimes be intense, even though sometimes it can be more measured and kind of more regular sounding. Also, not a ton of screaming on this album as well, I will have to say. <laughs> Overall, pretty cool to hear an album that rocks hard and doesn't is not weighed down by any pop elements. I mean, sometimes pop elements in rock are, are cool. But it is cool in this day and age to hear an album like this. That being said though, it can sound a, a little repetitive after a while. Stylistically, a lot of the song can kind of start to sound the same. And a little more diversity could have been used, I think. But that's just me. <laughs> As for the lyrics here. Great lyrics here. He talks about needing God's help to fight for... Love and the best part of him, basically. He talks about how, basically, we're kind of at war, basically. And, um, I'm talking about how we need God's help to choose what's right. Fight for the best part of us, as the opening song would say. <laughs> Up next, Audrey Assad's new single featuring Urban Doxology, Your Peace Will Make Us One. A review of Audrey Assad's new single, Your Peace Will Make Us One, featuring guest appearance from Urban Doxology. I should probably say this came across as a comment request from my mom. So, thanks mom for requesting this one. Because this is a really, really nice song. It's not something I would typically listen to, but it really does sound nice. I hear violin on this one and really nice choral vocals. Too, from Audrey, and I think the guest appearance of Urban Doxology contributes to that as well. I mean, Audrey's voice is really pretty on this track. 
pull a lover vocals on here. As for the lyrics here, good lyrics too. She praises God for his characteristics and talks about how God's peace will make us one. Which is a message we need to hear in the midst of all the division that goes on in our nation and our world today. Up next, our last release for today, Clay Cross's first re first substantial release in seven years, Free Will Offering. QEP Free Will Offering is his first release of substantial length in seven years, considering he last came out as a full-length album in 2012, and now is coming out with this EP just last week. Good sound here, a little throwback. CCM is what I will basically, what I best describe it as, with the weight acoustic guitar, electric guitar, piano, and drum is structure. Now, even though this is a CCM album, stylistically speaking, I would say the lyrics have definitely a worshipful feel to them, as they praise God cry out and praise to God, basically, and also, it talks about trusting God with every moment, with every situation of our lives. Back next week for five more releases, if you like what you saw in this video, please subscribe so you know when these come out every single Friday. Also, like my business page on Facebook to stay in tune with what's going on here. Also, if there's any releases you want me to feature, singles or pre-order albums, and I do the singles from those albums, or an album that dropped today, or EP that dropped today for that matter too, you can leave that in the comments below, and I will try to feature that. Well, I'm gonna go now. Bye!